Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I thought today I would do a video going through my Erin Condren Life Planner showing you guys how I've set it up, how I plan to kind of set it up. Um, I have posted throughout the whole thing where I've kind of walked through it and kind of figured out what I, um, events that I have coming up and just certain aspects that are new to the planner, which if you guys are familiar with this planner, you know that there are new additions to it, uh, how I plan on setting those up. So for those who, you know, in case you're wondering, I got the neutral hourly layout. I had a rose gold foil and I did 12 months. So this is the new like neutral layout. I don't really ever look at these, I'm going to be completely honest, but they are really pretty. So for this page, I honestly haven't quite figured out yet. Last year I had so many things that I wanted to do with this and I just put too many things on here to the point it was overwhelming and I never looked at it. Um, I think once I know a better idea as far as what I'm doing with grad school slash my job, I can put more information on here. So I just don't quite know exactly what I'm doing yet. I'm planning on figuring it out within the next week or so. Very stressful time as you can imagine, but I don't want to just put stuff in here just to put them in here. I'm going to wait until I kind of figure it out. For this page or whatever, I honestly didn't use it in my last planner. I started using it and I'd put like kind of like monthly favorites or goals or whatever, but I only did it like the first two months and I just honestly never used it. What I did was the, um, one of the freebie samplers that I've gotten from Aaron uh, from planner Kate had some little um, script stickers for the months and I loved it and I thought it'd be perfect to use for this just because it is subtle you know it you know it indicates which month it is without being too in your face about it. What I'm doing on here is kind of having like things that are coming up that I'm planning for in the month in these months that I need to like save up for. So for instance if I'm going on a trip those types of things where it's basically like kind of for me almost like a budget sort of vibe but like a very general easy peasy kind of vibe one. I don't know what happened here. This is the new kind of monthly page well there's a calendar but this is a new addition to the month of July it used to just be this and then you'd flip to the monthly so right here I actually plan on putting my summer bucket list just because um I don't know I mean this is for me like um a good place to have it because this is kind of like the beginning of summer and it's just nice to refer to I had one in my last planner I really liked it. I had it in the back of the planner but because we have more space for the for the monthly view now where we have this and this versus just this notes page I can use this for the bucket list for here I think I'm gonna change some things out a little bit each month it to be a little bit more catered for that month but in the month of July as I've mentioned um, in my planner sticker video I am going to Hawaii and so I think it'd be really nice to use this page as a packing list so I can kind of just keep this open while I'm packing really helpful place to have it is a designated spot and then for here I just put some birthdays coming up I think it's just my little brother's birthday um, I have some monthly goals I'm gonna make that a little bit more specific and then I have some monthly favorites I think that'd be a good spot to keep them right here um, and then like I know everyone uses this for habit trackers I don't really use habit trackers whenever I try them I just never really stick to them <laughs> but uh, I think this would be kind of a nice place to kind of keep like if I were to print out like little pictures from the trip and then I can look back at that. I think that'd be really fun. I'm planning actually as of right now to keep my monthly pages really simple just because in my previous planner, in my previous planner I really didn't like look at this after a while. Like I would, you know, I would get one of those planner Kate sheets where it would like cover the top and look really pretty and everything and it looked really nice but I just feel like maybe because it was so busy I would like never refer to this for the actual functionality of it. I want to just keep this like super super simple. So as of right now for the July and August I didn't do it for all the other months especially especially because she hasn't even come out with stickers for those months. Um, I just plan on keeping July and August pretty simple especially because the summer I think is going to be a bit crazy with um, the job and everything but for this month I did get just some washi just to cover up right here I think that would look really nice and honestly just keep it super simple I'm gonna go through like every single page just because I'm gonna I'm kind of plan on planning my weeklies this is similar to how I'm doing before where I just use a free I just use like a like a sample or like one of these I just always just just use the one of these and then if I need to pull freebie samplers I can do that actually the first week of July I got this one just to try out something different to see if I would like it. And I plan on kind of using those the same way. This is just some plans that I've put in um, for August. I don't have any birthdays coming up and I don't quite know my goals, favorites, and I don't have any trips planning up. I do have a Khalif concert coming up, but I mean, I'm not going to go through every single one of these just because, 
you know, as the farther it goes out, the less plans that I have kind of set in here. So I was planning on just clipping to the back to show you how I've set up the back of my planner. So that this planner actually ends on July 1st. For this page, I plan on using this as a sticker page. So like for instance, if I go traveling or I just end up kind of like accumulating like stickers and stuff that are like, you know, like a sticker from Hawaii or like um, things like that, if that makes sense. I like to put them here just because I feel like there's like... You know, those are things where it's like you don't want to throw them away, but you also like they're not really ones that like you put on like stationery or something. So sometimes they're just like too big. I had a um a page like this, actually a two page thing for that in my planner right now, and I really liked how having that because I had a bunch from when I went to Florida, when I went to Cape Cod, things like that. I have a page in my planner right now for login information, like passwords and stuff. I know that's like really bad. You definitely like should not have that, but I found it really really helpful, especially like. If I was using like a school computer or like a library computer where like obviously your information isn't saved on that computer, it's nice to just pull out my planner and have that information. For here, I like to actually, I know I'm such a like big sister in doing this. My little brother does track. He loves it. And I had like a small section because I didn't have a lot of note space that was like empty but free for, to use for this for his track information, write down all of his times and stuff. And I wanted to just have like one designated page for all about that's lined because I think the other page I did had wasn't lined. Back of my current planner is where all my bucket lists are but because I plan on having those in the notes page before the month where the seasons change for March that's when it turns to spring I have it before my March page. In December I have it before my um December mid December page things like that. So I have a lot of free notes pages in here that I had for other things in my other planner that are free I have more options and like you know, with that so I don't have anything actually on these right now I had like random things on there that I just found that I wasn't using here's the coloring pages there are coloring pages in the previous planner I didn't use them um I think for one of them I had um my brother's track information just because I didn't have like a line page for that so I would use stickers and write them on there which is kind of annoying for a different one I think I had like post-its everywhere for like ideas of places to travel for this page I think this page is like kind of strange I don't really know what is the purpose of it but my thought was just having like again I use those same kind of script stickers that I had in the beginning and I just plan on putting like monthly highlights so one thing that's like super cool for my month so again one July Hawaii or like something like that for this page I personally this past year I use it for my uh, professors information like their office hours as well as their contact information I found it super helpful I personally use it for like the things that you might necessarily wouldn't have your contacts but it's good to just have if that makes sense then here is the like next year at a glance um because i didn't get the 18 month i plan on actually using this more often because i didn't find myself ever using this because i had the 18 month last year here are the stickers i do actually plan on ripping these out just because i did that last year and i found that like kind of nice just because it is like extra bulk to your planner i did notice that one of my stickers was like discolored but whatever and then, yeah, I did take out my perpetual calendar because I don't use that. And again, it's just extra bulk to my planner that I don't need. And I do, like, commute with my planner. And I just added some stickers that I use quite a bit um, that I got in a freebie that I thought would be helpful to just have in here just in general. But, yeah, that is how I plan on setting up my planner. I hope you guys found this helpful in any way. If you're looking for ideas of how to set up your planner. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.